Aries, welcome to your July 15th through the 30th of 2018 tarot reading. My name is Serafina Safi and I'll be doing your reading today. I just wanted to give you a preview. Today we're going under the sea and we're going to be uh, doing the under the sea tarot along with dolphins and mermaids. But August, you're definitely going to want to subscribe because we're going to Wonderland. And I'm super excited about it. I was going to do it today, but then I decided um, not to because I already had this plan. So let's go under the sea, shall we? Uh, so the first thing that we're going to want to do is, can you give me the overall theme for Aries, July 15th through the 30th? The overall theme for Aries, July 15th through the 30th. One card for the overall theme. Okay, so you need to make a decision. You're feeling stubborn and decisive. You need to listen to your intuition and make a decision. So there's some sort of decision that needs to be made in this. So what's going on internally with Aries? What's going on mentally with Aries? We start off with your energy, that's pretty cool. We have wands. What else is going on with Aries? Okay, so internally, I see that there's some conflict. There's definitely some conflict here. And that's your Aries, that, that's your energy, that's um, Rod's energy. And I see that you're building stability. There's, you, there's stability that you're building here. So there, there's internal conflict, internal, internal competition, but you're still celebrating and building something stable. Internally. And then we have Virgo energy with the Hermit. And you're taking a period of rest and reflection and um, really diving deep into your internal world. You're, you're contemplating things internally. I did buy a microphone, but it didn't work. So <laughs> I have two fans going right now. If you can't hear me, I'm sorry. I'm talking as loud as I can. Okay, and... Uh, What's going on with Aries family and home life? Three cards for Aries family and home life. Okay, wow. There's some struggle. Justice came out. That's good. Okay. And then we have the seven of pentacles, or the seven of starfish in this stack. So the first thing we have is some karma. Uh, what goes around comes around. It could either be beautiful or it could be very scary, uh, depending on the type of karma that you put out there. But karma is definitely coming around uh, for you. It's a, it's a whirlwind. It's sucking you in, and you have no control over it. Um, so basically, what you put out there is what you're now reaping. And it's very just and fair. What, whatever you're doing, whatever's coming to you, it may be painful, it may be painful lessons. But it's just and fair. And your hard work's paying off. Um, you built a nest egg. You could be financially solid. Your future is promising with this card. This is Taurus energy. So with energies, we started off with this fire energy, um, with, with the wands. And we had the five of wands, which would be Leo, and then the four of wands, which is your energy, Aries, and then Virgo. So we had Leo, Aries, Virgo. So there's a, a lot of being critical here, a lot of uh, being a little bit dramatic internally. Externally, in your home and family life, we have the Wheel of Fortune. And the Wheel of Fortune, I always see that as Sagittarius energy. 
So we're going back into this fire energy. And then we have justice, which is Libra. So we have this air energy, the winds of change. So externally, things are changing, and you need to make a decision. And whatever's happening is fair and just. It's karmic. This is all about karma. So if you put good karma out there, you're going to get good karma back. Um, and I do see it being good. Uh, this is Taurus energy. It's very practical. It's very solid, stable energy. Uh, it's building a nest egg, reaping your harvest, reaping your reward. So in the past, there was a lot of ambition. I see a lot of ambition here. And then presently, things are changing, but you still have that ambition, that drive underneath it all. And in the future, I see something very solid, very practical, very grounded, very stable. What's going on with Aries finances? Three cards for Aries finances. Okay, again, this month. Aries. Okay, one more card for Aries finances, please. We have some reversals here. Aries finances, one more card. Again. Okay, so we have um, we have your energy again. We have the six, the six of wands or the six of tridents, if you will. But it's the six of tridents in reverse. So there's egotism here. There's a lack of confidence. There's a fall from grace. In the upright, this is a parade. So you're, you're on a parade, you're victorious, people are cheering you on. In, in the reverse, this is egotism. Then we have the seven of wands in the reverse. So this is feeling overwhelmed or being overly protective, giving up. Feeling heartbreak. In the upright, see, he's battling. He's battling people away from him. In the reverse, he's just giving up. He's letting these other people win. And then we have the six of shells in the reverse, which would be the six of cups in the upright. Um, so this is being stuck in the past, being unrealistic, being naive. So you're stuck in the past still, financially, with your money. Your money, you're still stuck in the past. You're counting things that, you know, you already lost. You already lost these things. You're letting other people win, and you're doing it because of your ego. This is all about your ego. I see in the past there it's just filled with this fire energy, your energy. It's just absolutely filled with like ambition, aggression, uh, getting things done, being very passionate. Presently I still see you have some of that, but things are changing and you're starting to lose some of that ambition to holding on to things from the past. And in the future, I see that you are taking time out to really reflect. And that it's going to be more solid, more stable. And it's going to be based on emotion. Your purchases are going to be more emotionally driven than they are um, 
driven by logic. So you need to make a decision. Give me three cards about this decision that Aries needs to make, please. Three cards about this decision that Aries needs to make, please. Oh, three exactly. That's awesome. And they're all wands. And we have two court cards. Okay, so how they landed, they're not seeing eye to eye. This is two fire signs. This could be Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Uh, this is the king and the queen of wands. We have the queen of wands over here, and she's more in the past position to me. And then we have the king more presently. Or, it, I mean, it doesn't, you don't have to worry about that. But they're not seeing eye to eye. This is how they came out. This couple, they're not talking, they're fighting. This is a couple that's fighting. So you need to make a decision about this couple, this perfect couple that's no longer seeing eye to eye, that's no longer being a team, that's no longer being cooperative. We have the queen who's very independent, who's very outgoing, who's very spontaneous. And then we have the king who's a natural born leader. Um, who's dependable, energetic, adventurous, a go-getter. We have Aries. We have Sagittarius here. This is Aries and Sagittarius, and there could be a block in communication here, or it could just be a, a regular argument, or this could actually be the silent treatment. They're not talking to each other. This perfect couple is no longer getting along. We have the Nine of Wands here in the upright. So, there's being constantly on guard, taking on way too much, underestimating massive efforts that need to be need to need to go like you, you're trying to cope with things you're you're a battle weary soldier you had too many battles to fight you're reassessing your present commitments and this is Sagittarius energy and you're feeling under attack Yeah, we're definitely talking about Sagittarius because Temperance was sitting right here. Uh, Temperance is the card of Sagittarius. And this is the calm after the storm, rebalancing, <laughs> traveling, a wise counselor, light at the end of the tunnel. So I do see you coming out of this and it being better. The sun's rising, it's a new day, things are getting balanced getting back into alignment. So three cards for Aries social and romantic life, please. Three cards for Aries social and romantic life, please. Okay, so there's some sort of theft. Things are changing again. Again, we have this winds of change. So there's depression and anxiety. Things look really scary. But I do see true love. There is true love here. There could actually even be a baby. There could be a baby here. Okay, so the first card that we have is the um, Seven of Swords. So the Seven of Swords is betrayal, <coughs> deceit, lies. Be careful who you trust. There's mind games here. This is Aquarius energy. And it also represents theft. There's some sort of theft here. Stealing of ideas. Stealing of... Um, there, there could be a contract that 
Well, this is now. I don't see that. Never mind. And then we have the Nine of Swords. And this is the card of depression. This is the card of anxiety. Look at that big, scary depression monster back there. And then we have true love. We have the two, this is the love card, well, other than the lovers, of the tarot deck. This is the two of cups. This is the two of shells in this deck. But look, there's a baby there. Do you see the baby? And there's new love. There's a man. There's a woman. There could be two women. Um, or even two men. But there's a union here. A perfect, harmonious union. So in the past, I see that there was lies. There was deceit. There was treachery. Presently, you feel very anxious and alone. But I see in the future you moving out of that, and I do see perfect love coming in for you. This is the type of love that movies are made off of. Amazing love. Okay, so three cards for Aries um, career. Three cards for Aries career. The lovers came out. So you're in love with your career. There's a perfect love. And then we have the Queen of Rods. Oh, no, that's the Page of Rods, I'm sorry. And the Queen of Shells. Alright, so we have the lovers. In your career, you're loving your career. And this is in the past position. I see this is the past position. Uh, so you're in love with your career. And then we have the Page of Rocks. So the, you're full of marvelous and novel ideas presently. You feel like a free spirit. You're putting plans into action. You're exploring new places, new career opportunities. You're emotional, loving, happy. Um, or this could be a person, a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, specifically a Cancer. But uh, you can be very moody in your career, a little bit manipulative, but a healer, caring, loving, sensitive. I do see conflict here in your career, your emotions next to your ambition. Your emotions are taking like your ambition's there, but it's more immature. You're more emotional in terms of your career. In terms of your money, there's also conflict. And it looks like emotions are outweighing ambition and drive and passion. see two people not talking, not seeing eye to eye. It could not even be not talking, they're just not seeing eye to eye. You feel worn out. It's causing a lot of depression and anxiety. You feel betrayed. It's causing this internal conflict in this period of self-reflection. But I see you coming out of it. And this is what I see happening. Light at the end of the tunnel. A new relationship or a new offer of love. Very emotional, very tender, very nurturing.
You're working really hard. on this relationship. And you need to make an ultimate decision about it. If you're feeling stuck and indecisive, you need to listen to your intuition. Ultimately, you need to listen to your intuition. That's the main thing. All right, Aries, thank you so much for joining me today. I can't wait to see you in August. Please subscribe so you'll be notified as soon as I get, we go into Wonderland for our August videos. Have a great day.